them to clean counters, kill germs, and take off your makeup. The wipes industry has exploded into a multi-billion dollar business, but some wastewater treatment managers say they're causing big backups in sewer systems, even the wipes labeled flushable. Consumer investigator Kristen Severance is here tonight to explain the fight over what you flush. Yes, yeah, cities across the country have even filed lawsuits over these flushable wipes, but one major North Texas wipes manufacturer is standing by their product. Been here a long time? 39 years. The smell, the sewage, Bill Cyrus has seen it all, but nothing bothers him more than this. So right away, I see it. Yep, yeah, there it is. But are those rags? Those are rags. That, so that's exactly what we're talking about. Yes, that's exactly what we're talking about. What Cyrus calls rags are really wipes, paper towels, rags, tissues, hygiene products, anything that people can get down in the commode. <laughs> The manager of technical services at Trinity River Authority has seen a huge increase in the rags with the explosion of the wipes industry. From those you aren't supposed to flush, like cleaning baby and makeup wipes, to ones now labeled flushable. Cyrus says they're all getting through. They're a problem here because it's damaging the equipment. The idea is to get them out right here. This gripper takes all of those products you shouldn't flush down the toilet, and those labeled flushable puts them in this dumpster to be hauled away. But you'll soon see it can't catch everything. We're not capturing all of it like we need to be. Some rags make it past two more filters and end up here. You can see they're a little smaller. They've gone through the other two sets of screens to end up here. The higher the pile, the higher the cost. Last year, the Trinity River Authority hauled away 709 wet tons of rags. The disposal cost $112,000 since 2015. Equipment maintenance last year cost $120,000, and you're paying for it. Cyrus believes no matter what the label says. Uh, I think everything should be thrown away in the sanitary trash. Others agree. An HOA in New York, the city of Wyoming, Minnesota, and Perry, Iowa, all filed lawsuits against wipes manufacturers, saying the flushable wipes don't degrade. In our case, our flushable wipes, we stand by those claims. But Irving-based Kimberly Clark says their flushable wipes do break down. They say there are seven industry tests. A product is required to pass before it's labeled flushable, including the municipal sewer test. In that test, you put 60 wipes through a municipal sewer pump, one every 10 seconds, to ensure that that product is compatible with a municipal sewer pump. If it can't do that, it's not flushable. Company spokesman Terry Bollock says the non-flushable wipes clogging up city sewers are rarely, if ever, the Kimberly Clark brand. And what is still the largest sewer collection study that's been done to date, uh, there was not a single Kimberly Clark wipe found in that study. Cyrus is doing his own sewer collection study too, collecting wipes before they get to the gripper. At this point, we're just trying to identify what we are getting, what types of products. And analyzing the dry down wipes for answers, something manufacturers and wastewater managers agree are needed soon. We want to understand the concerns they're facing um, and come up with a solution together. Okay, another point. Manufacturers say if flushable wipes are taken off the market, people will just continue to flush the non flushable wipes, making the problem even worse. A trade group representing the wipes industry believes that clearly labeled products and consumer education could really help solve this issue. But the National Association of Clean Water Agencies say that the tests need to be more rigorous because some of these wipes may be getting through. Uh, An insight to a lot of things that people don't ever see. Absolutely. We appreciate it. Thanks. You bet.